A blessed day to each and every and welcome to quarter one module number two and this is discovering the road to self-discipline. Did you know that eating chocolate while studying helps the brain retain new information and it is linked to higher test scores? Our objective for today is to examine the importance of your role as part of the family and community, demonstrate personal discipline in managing family and community concerns effectively, and determine ways on how you manage personal changes towards self-appreciation. What you have to do is you need a clean sheet of paper and ball pen or pencil. This module will aim to help you discover self-discipline and its relevance to your role as an adolescent. Self-discipline and awareness on your role in the family and community will help you achieve your personal goals and maintain healthy relationship. Let's try this. Can you tell me what is your most important role in the family? How about in the community? And how do you compare your role in the family and community? And please tell us why. Given the chance to any of your roles or to change this role particular, on a particular role, which will you change? And please explain your answers. Describe the changes that you experience. Let's explore this. This is the areas of change, what happened to your old self and what happened to your present self. This includes your physical, which is hygiene and eating habits, emotional, in regards to self-respect and or showing respect rather in self-control, and on social aspect about handling conflicts and obedience to authorities. Through this one, you have to take note what do you notice when with your answers? How did you handle the changes in yourself? How will you take the future changes in yourself? Let's keep in mind, as you mature, you will realize that along with your personal changes, there are also changes in your role in the family and in the community. As an adolescent, you can already demonstrate personal discipline in managing your personal, family, and community concerns. These include life skills development, establishment of healthy relationships, and becoming a productive citizen. Being responsible during this critical time will benefit not just yourself, but also your family and community. This pandemic challenges everyone to perform their respective roles, even if it would entail greater sacrifices in performing your role. It is necessary that you develop self-discipline. Here are some tips that you can follow to achieve self-discipline. First, you have to acknowledge, know and acknowledge your weaknesses. You have to be humble enough to own them and to do something to start improving self. Change starts from identifying your weaknesses and you have to be humble enough to own them and do something to start improving. And you have to improve yourself. It may not be easy, but it is worth a try. Next, you have to keep a clear goals and have an action plan. Your goal will serve as a guide in planning actions. Be specific on what you want to achieve. Your goal will serve as your guide in planning your actions. Having a clear goal will mean better action, plan, and efficient use of time, resources, and energy. Next, number three, commit to develop self-discipline. Discipline means doing things whether you like it or not. Deciding to achieve a certain level of self-discipline is never easy. Discipline will mean doing things whether you like it or not. It means doing the right things at all costs, which oftentimes gives discomforts that you may drive away from doing it. You need to have a commitment to exercise self-discipline at all times. Number four, you have to learn to avoid distractions. So we have a lot of distractions nowadays. And one of the effective ways of avoiding destruction is to not exposing yourself into it. So you have to surround yourself with things that you plan to accomplish. When you are trying to avoid excessive exposure to anything that disturbs you, try to remove them from your reach or, or you, can, you can avoid it for a while like your gadget, radio, television, etc. You may also try other strategies that will think that you think will help you. 
Number five, create simple and doable routines. Creating simple routines will help you in developing self-discipline. For example, if you have problems with being on time to your scheduled classes, it is necessary to know the root cause of the problem. You can adjust your bedtime and other activities and allocate ample time for your sleep and other preparations. You have to create a backup plan. Having a plan A, B, and C will help you in managing setbacks or failures. Not being able to achieve your goal on a specific time may be frustrating, but these backup plans will give you a better opportunity to replan and organize your next steps. Today is a great opportunity to show your family and community that you are disciplined and you can assume responsibilities that go with the role that you play as a maturing individual. Remember, this is a lifelong process and will, you will be amazed of the possibilities that you can achieve as you grow up. The backup plans will give you a better opportunity to replan and strategize your next steps. Please answer the following question. So this is the situation you were tasked to assist your younger siblings in their schoolwork. You also have difficulties in your schoolwork. How are you going to apply self-discipline in this situation? And for the second one, your friends invited you to join in their volunteer work after class. You really like to join them. However, you still need to finish your modules and learning outputs. Your neighbor is about to celebrate their 18th birthday and she invited your family to attend the part-time or the party that will be joined by their relatives and friends from different places. You're all aware on health protocols relative to COVID-19. How are you going to apply self-discipline in this situation? You have to write a commitment plan. Let's remember that discipline is something that is not easy to do. You have or you need to have a goal and follow it through. You have to set your priorities and be mindful of the things that you are doing. If you really want to be committed, bear in mind that your future is at stake. Be goal-oriented. Focus and trust in yourself so you can do it. And you have to share your thoughts and feelings. How, are, how do you feel after realizing that as a great and learner, you now have an important role to play in your family and in your community? So that's all for today. Thank you so much and see you again on our next lesson. Bye.